My training was predominantly on petroleum research, oil-based research, exploration studies, how to provide more reserves for my country and uh, using geochemical techniques. And after doing a whole lot of that, and I feel, well, we, now that we have the resources, and that's actually impacting negatively on the environment, so many issues on oil spillages, so many issues on shale gas that's impacting negatively on the and aquifers and water bodies globally. Uh, which is turning into the, the ecosystem, whereby you have uh, the fish we eat, I mean, even the vegetables are all being impacted negatively because of most activities of men. So I feel I should, have, I should I mean, vibe into areas of pollution studies, whereby we look at um, uh, cancer-causing uh, uh, compounds, we call them carcinogenic compounds. Uh, so I decided to go into in these areas, because uh, unfortunately for my, in my country, there are no much expertise on this area of research, and there are no baseline data. Uh, when I was doing my postgraduate studies, I was looking for baseline data on, um, on this area of research, and unfortunately, I, I couldn't get. There are no benchmarks. Uh, there are no reg the regulatory bodies don't even I mean, set benchmarks. And so I feel obliged to actually, uh, I could only compare, when I was writing my thesis, I could only compare with other parts of the world. There, there was no any comparison I could make uh, with my local, uh, with, my, with my country. So these are reasons why I said, okay, it's time I actually look into these areas, set minimum benchmarks, set uh, baseline data for, for, for my country, and so that upcoming uh, uh, young I mean, uh, academics or scientists will use this data as part of their references. So that is one. Then again, uh, I also go into a little bit of uh, metal developments uh, because we have emerging compounds coming up every day. So new methods need to be developed to actually uh, cater for this set of compounds, uh, how to quantify them, how to determine their presence in the environment, and how to look at them in different media. Uh, uh, so I also go into that. I also, also have a little flair for, uh, because so many technologies have been developed in taking care of uh, pollution, I mean, I mean spillage. But they are quite expensive. Uh, recently in Nigeria, there was something about two, three years ago, uh, there was this uh, United Nations Environmental Protection, I mean, uh, program on uh, UNEP program that actually studied uh, the oil spillage in Nigeria. Uh, that is the oil producing uh, area of Nigeria. And they come up with uh, uh, a very uh, uh, scary study, I mean, uh, 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 report that. Nigeria needs over, I mean, the, the, to clean up that area, over $1 billion will be needed. Uh, so I decided, oh, there's a whole lot of demand on, on Nigerian uh, resources. So I felt, what, could we, what can we do to actually, uh, I mean, as a researcher? So I said, okay, let's look at the area of factory remediation, which is plants, uh, to see how much of plants could be used to actually help to remediate the environment. Uh, so I'm working on bioremediation studies, some of factory remediation studies. Uh, currently, so that uh, I'm, I put some postgraduate students on this area of research, so that we can actually develop more uh, areas. I mean, I mean, more, much metals uh, findings, and probably before we deploy them, we are looking at uh, greenhouse uh, studies, and uh, so that we can before we deploy them uh, into the uh, in, into the field. So that is currently what is actually uh, I'm, I'm working on, and just it's just my fear, I mean, my 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 love for for the environment that is actually pushing me into this area of research. What do I hope to accomplish in the next five to 10 years? That is a $1 million, question, I mean $1 million question, because I have a lot, I mean, on my mind uh, that I intend to actually accomplish. One is on policy end, um, two is on research, and three is uh, reproducing so many replicas of myself. And I've attacked it in this, those three fronts. Policy end, uh, I realize that currently uh, there are no substantial policy to actually uh, check me some of the incoming uh, chemical compounds into Nigeria. Um, I realize that there are no chemical inventories of what comes in. Nobody declares, uh, even when you are talking of importation of products, what the immigration office is, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, much more after is physical materials, uh, electronics, cars. The, there's the, the standard organization of Nigeria also look at metals and some other things. Why um, uh, some other organizations look at known compounds, so to say. So there are so many salient on known compounds that the regulatory bodies are not aware of. So I'm writing a policy document to government, I mean, a kind of proposal to government uh, 
to see that there should be an agency uh, that develops uh, uh, new chemical compounds and we should be monitored on a regular basis as these compounds keep coming and they keep on improving the database of these chemical compounds as they come into the country. So that is one end, I'm pushing that. Uh, I have a proposal already and I'm pushing it. I'm seeing policy uh, 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 makers on that so that we can push it to, uh, I mean, to a policy level. So that's that. Then again, on developing, uh, I mean, people like myself. I mean, currently I have six PhD students and a whole lot of masters and uh, so, and I put all of them on these areas of research I mentioned earlier. Uh, some of them are working on fertile remediation, some on bio remediation, some on the method development, and quite a number of them are actually working on different areas of research. Uh, so that we, I, uh, we can have, I'm, having this, I'm actually trying to develop my research group to a, a level that we could uh, be able to shun out data that the country will be able to depend on as, as, as baseline uh, data and that, so that when you are looking, I have attended, attended so many conferences, and people are actually carrying out um, uh, comparative studies among countries, among continents, and they said data are limited in Africa. Data they don't have enough data on, on so, so country, and I say it was a big challenge. I mean, I feel a, a little bit, uh, I mean, I didn't feel bad about that, that how come there are no data about this, this continent? And that, to some extent, is true. So I want to make sure that uh, in the next couple of years, I've generated enough data, that will be useful, uh, at least for regulatory framework and also for researchers who need such data for their comparative uh, studies across the globe. So, uh, and um, lastly, uh, I, during the last uh, African Science Week, um, by the way, I'm a NEF ambassador for Nigeria, so we had uh, African Science Week for Nigeria, and uh, one of the, my takeaway from that uh, week was some primary and secondary school papers because we had a day out with secondary school students and uh, we, we, we engaged them. Uh, I engaged them for about 30 minutes. I just want to uh, increase their uh, curiosity about science. And I asked them to think out of the bus and come up with something uh, wonderful. And uh, I gave them the podium and to actually speak. They were in clusters of group, I mean five, and they all came up with something wonderful. I uh, did talk of uh, but there's a particular group that said they want to make sure there's a cure to HIV, and they were able to tell us how they want to do that. Uh, there was a group that said they want to have a robotic house where nobody do anything in that house, nobody does anything in that house. The house will be the one do everything for you. I was, I mean, I was looking at them, and they were actually bringing out sketches and stuff. So, and I, I told them at the end of their presentation, I said, good, I have... I have your recordings, I have your, your words there, I have everything you have written, I have your card books, what do I have? I have, I'm keeping them for you. I'm going to monitor you, I'm going to mentor you, I'm going to provide, the, the, I mean, to some extent, the, the platform for you to achieve some of these things. So I want to have, a, 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 I want to, in the next couple of years, see if I can create a hub, a, a kind of platform for this budding, your, I call them budding scientists, to actually get their, their, their visions the aspirations that have been accomplished. So I'm thinking of having an innovation uh, institute or college whereby some of them will be actually be, 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 be helped to actually uh, get some of these uh, incubation, I mean, incubation group, I mean, uh, what they have in mind actually hashed into reality. So those are some of my, I mean, for now, uh, those are some of the things that are still actually popping up in my mind to get achieved in the next couple of uh, years.